Agent 47 and Diana Burnwood are the world's top assassins working for the ICA. Unknowingly, they have been hired by a shadow client to target a number of operatives of Providence, a secret organization working in the highest echelons of power. Providence's controller, the Constant, approaches Diana and makes her a deal. Eliminate the shadow client and learn about 47's past. But when 47 discovers that the shadow client is Lucas Gray, his lost childhood friend, he and Diana switch sides to fulfill an old pact. Destroy Providence. Together, they manage to capture the Constant, forcing him to reveal the identities of the three Providence partners. Eliminate them, and the war would be over. However, the Constant has an ace up his sleeve. Welcome to Dubai, 47. Today is the inauguration of the Scepter, and the ceremony is well underway. You will find Marcus Stuyvesant near the building's signature art installation. While a paranoid Carl Ingram has ensconced himself in his penthouse suite, security on highest alert. Mr. Gray is already in position and ready to assist. Good luck, 47. 47, come in. 47, do you copy? I'm here. Are you in position? I'm heading towards the point of entry. Good. Get back to me when you're there. Use your camera and scan the lock, will you? I think I can override the window's controls from here. I'm in position. 47, the inauguration is taking place close by. Once you've infiltrated it, get your bearings. I'm sure there must be floor plans somewhere. Understood. We need absolute focus on this one. If Ingram and Stuyvesant are alerted to our presence, we may lose them for good. We are so close, 47. Don't worry. They're not going anywhere. Welcome to the Barge Al Ghazali. Personally invited by the Royal Highness Omar Al Ghazali, I should have clearance. The name is Zana Kazim. Sir, I understand. Zana Kazim, A.K.A. the Vulture, one of the top agents working for Crystal Dawn, the Pan-African terrorist organization. I almost hired him myself once, but chose the Maelstrom instead. Now, what is his business here? You can't enter without being searched. Standard procedure. Like this is ridiculous. Well, that's how it is. Think about it and come back if you want. I'll be waiting upstairs in the reception. Understood? Crystal.
my body. It's a smoking area. If you don't like it, piss off. Jesus, I'm just asking nicely. No, you were being a bitch. Now go away and binge eat some celery or whatever idiots like you do. Or I'll do something worse than blowing cancer in your face. Oh my God, what is your problem? <coughs> you are sick. You have no idea. Looking good, man. Looking good. Just a quick pat down, sir. Nothing to worry about. Thank you. Please proceed. Oh, Mr. Kazim. I'm glad you changed your mind. Arrogance can be a dangerous trait. Yes, indeed, it can. Mr. Ingram has been expecting you. We have a conference room set up for you. Looking good today, sir. and make yourself comfortable. Mr. Ingram will be with you shortly. Just keep calm. Mr. Kazim, a pleasure to meet you. Omar tells me great things about you. I'll get straight to the point. I have a, well, let's call it a dispute, which the Royal Highness tells me you're very capable of taking care of. Now, I've worked with your organization before, in Morocco, I believe, so I'm a little hesitant. Don't be. We do what's needed. Well, only time will tell. I have two assignments for you. Take care of the first one, and then we can discuss the bigger fish. Now, on to the first. An acute problem has been brought to my attention. Keep talking. I'll be candid with you. No one is supposed to know that I'm here. However, there's a journalist down at the inauguration, and he's asking rather intrusive questions about who's staying up here, and that is a very dangerous problem for me. Now, I want you to silence this little pain. You think you can do that? It's what I do best. I like your bluntness. This is his file. Hans looked. Pulitzer winning freelance journalist. He's good. And won't give up until he gets the answers he needs. And that can't happen. Consider it done. Good man. And remember, I want a picture. I want proof so I can sleep tonight. Of course. Once this little assignment is completed, come back and talk to Miss Toe. 
Then we can discuss the real cancer that needs to be removed. I'm sure you can see yourself out. Mr. Lund, I hear you're looking for information. Oh, really? Okay. You know what's happening upstairs, huh? I know more than you could imagine. But we can't talk here. Follow me. Great. Lead the way. Greetings, sir. I'm getting a bad feeling here. Where are you? I'm sure we passed plenty of places where we could talk. I hope it's worth it. Yes, that's it. Now Ingram trusts you, it's like shooting fish in a barrel. Hello, sir. Hi there. Mr. Kazim, welcome back. So, you have the picture? Yes, here. Good. Our guest will be delighted. Please follow me. He's waiting. If you just How are follow you today, me, sir? Mr. Kazim. You need to do something. I'll get to the bottom of this. What happened? I think I found the corpse, and he's not hey, mowing anything. Okay, I'll deal with it now. We have a security breach. Get out of our way, okay? I understand. Have you seen the view yet? It's quite spectacular. On a clear day, you get a wonderful view of the Arabian Desert. It's a sight to behold the vastness of it. Back in China, this would never be possible because of all the smog. security tight, no matter who. All our guests go through the same procedure.
Mr. Cassine, so good to see you. You have the picture? Yes. Your problem is fixed. <laughs> Omar said you were good. Let's get down to the important business at hand. Okay, people, clear the room. I need to discuss some delicate business with Mr. Kazin. Oh, sorry. Uh, we have Ingram right minute. where we want him. Yeah, I just remembered something. 47, yourself you know what to do. Have a drink, see the view. It's something to behold. Carl Ingram finally gets what he deserves. Good riddance. Now let's get Marcus Stuyvesant. swanky place, huh?
This is gonna make me look really bad. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. Don't you worry. A colleague is also out there looking. But this is awful. I mean, I'm in my box. news on the new guard, kind of codenamed Pinky. I got word that he entered the building, but he hasn't reported for duty yet. Reporting for duty. It's about time. Our client has been going out of his mind waiting for you. Do you have the papers? Yes. Good. I'll call him now. How should I address him? It's classified. So, you don't call him anything. But officially, he's just known as codenamed Pinky. Stuyvesant is expecting a replacement guard. If you can locate him... We should be able to get within strangling distance of the little worm. Sir, this is security. Yeah. Just calling to hey. let you know your new guard has finally arrived. Yes, sir. See you soon. Okay. Wait here. He'll be here shortly. So, how are you finding Dubai? Oh, it's a gold mine for people in our trade. If you threw a rock, you'd hit a rich man in need of a bodyguard. Oh, you're lucky. His Royal Highness pays better than most. Yeah, you'd be surprised how stingy the rich can be, expecting you to take a bullet for them. A job is a job. That's the right attitude. You'll fit in fine here. I don't do small talk. Where is the package? Okay, you must be my new escort. I have very high standards and trust you will do your duty. You have your credentials on you? Mm, let me see here. Yes, that looks good. Oh, I like it. A cutlery expert, no less. I have no idea what that means. But your CV is very impressive. This looks perfect. Okay, walk with me. I need to go through some ground rules. I expect you to be by my side 24-7, unless I say otherwise. Bathroom breaks are, of course, permitted, but only when I say so. I have a very important, delicate meeting today, in which I expect you to keep your ears closed, but your eyes wide open. Understood? Now, your papers were indeed impressive, but I need to see what you can do with my own eyes. My father used to take me hunting. He was an avid hunter. I personally hated it, but always admired his skill with a knife and grew to appreciate what it takes to gut an animal. Have you ever tried to gut an animal? Yes. Good. Then you know it's not so easy as it looks. Like trying to stab a rubber ball. It bounces back if you don't stab it correctly. You're almost here. You have to understand. I didn't get where I am by blind faith. Okay, we are almost there. You see the shooting targets? Any fool can shoot a target. Just fine. You've okay. 
Jesus Christ. I got the right man now. What to do Thank with you all for that services. power? I'll take the rest of the day off. You deserve it. Thank you, sir. It was an honor. Thank you, sir. You impressed me. You really did. But right, let's get to work. Some things you should know about me. This is very much... We got to 47. Soon there will be no more Providence. You need to find an exit. Our business is done here, but it's far from over. 